Hey everybody, I'm just about to head out on a workout that I've set on my watch. So it's a kilometre on and then a minute recovery. There's a warm up and a cool down. I'm basically doing that kind of kilometre on recovery session five times. So it should be a 5k over that sort of workout. It's the first time I've used my watch properly. I tried to use it before with the standard workout. It got a little bit confusing. I couldn't quite stop it and, and get it to do what I wanted to do. So I'm giving it a go. I'm taking my shoes out. These are the shoes from the other day. Um, from that flat uh, half marathon that was supposed to not include a trail. So you get the idea. And that's after I've kind of banged them off. Anyway, I'm going to head out now. I've had to change the route slightly just because where I typically go, um, they are doing a lot of roadworks there. And so it means the pedestrian pathway has been closed. Anyway, let's head out there. And then when I get back, I've also got uh, a couple of deliveries. Uh, I've already opened uh, half of it. I'm going to show you what else I've got. As you know, uh, even if the items appear to be quite expensive, I'm a bit of a bargain hunter, so I only buy things if they are cheap um, or affordable, um, whatever you wish to call them. So please don't think that I'm one of those people that is just made of money. No, 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 no. But look for a bargain, and if I find one, grab it while I can. Pretty great out there, a bit miserable. So uh, let's have some fun and see how we get on with this workout. Working well so far. Warm up. Straight into the first fast kilometre. Now it's in the recovery phase, so take it easy. About to set off for kilometre two. The only issue is it didn't show me my timing split after my first kilometre, so a little in the dark there. But here we go for second kilometre. Buzz of the watch tells me we're off. Here we go. Definitely slowed down the flow. Had to navigate through that cut down tree on the path. So, bit of a pain, but back on it now. Midway through the third kilometer. Feeling good, pushing hard. Hopefully, it's consistent with the first two. I'm just about to enter the fifth kilometer. I think I'm doing around about 4.30. Um, I don't know there. I'm a little bit confused. I had this before. I forgot to double check it. It basically tells me on watch what my step pace is. Step pace. I, and I'm, I'm not certain because last time I'm sure I was following the step pace, but the results weren't quite what I was expecting. So step pace looked around about 4.30. I'm not entirely convinced that that is the split, but we'll see after this workout because it's been really good so far. Uh, I'm just taking this moment before obviously engine last kilometer little recovery uh, I have been jogging up until this point but I just thought I'd stop and just share that with you uh, what's the time let's have a look we've got 20 seconds to go so I'm gonna switch off I'll catch you after the last kilometer on the cool down so you'll see the screenshot there eight kilometers five thirty seven per kilometer Obviously the workout is only 5k and there's a recovery in between so now I'm not entirely sure whether it's just tracking the recovery as well and lumping all the time in together so that might not give you me the most accurate reading. All I can say is that almost every kilometre split that I did was tracked between 4.20 and 4.30 for the step pace um, because I looked down obviously with a little bit of time to go just to make sure I was keeping it relatively even. What that looks like on Strava, I don't know. I'll have a look when I get in. Uh, just going to do now another probably 2k just to jog home. But uh, interesting, still getting the hang of this workout on the watch thing. I'll get there, but it's just a learning process. And of course, until you dive in and try these things, you don't know. Anybody got any tips, please do let me know about what I should be doing. It's a Garmin 4 on a 235. So just back, haven't quite uh, looked at the data yet, but I will do in a moment. I just thought I'd just quickly run through some deliveries. Now you might remember that I grabbed a pair of my Brooks Glycerin shoes cheap off of eBay, I managed to grab it, and uh, the person who I bought them off contacted me and just kind of said, look, I'm selling all my stuff, I never used it. Uh, I, obviously I know what your foot size is, and uh, are you interested in the following? So I just grabbed, and they were like super cheap. Uh, brand new, they're all in the packet, obviously I opened the packet, but I got some Stance socks. Uh, never actually tried these and still haven't tried them yet. So I've got some stance socks here, different sizes. Um, 
So these ones here look quite cool. They feel 360s. And then I've got some of these and they are, I forgot the name of them. These begin the B, Belega. Uh, does it say on the sock? Does it say on the sock? There is a bow, oh, that's backwards, Belega. And, and this is probably the, the best and most interesting purchase. Now these aren't that expensive anyway, so I'm not gonna pretend like they've got the best deal, but well, I did really, because these recovery sandals, 10 pounds. They're normally about 30, I think, so a little bit of a bargain there. Anyway, I'm gonna try those now, just kind of for fun. Uh, not the socks, these hookers. It's the first thing I've ever owned that was hoker. Uh, literally, the reason why I grabbed them is because I was interested in, in a product that kind of apparently is for recovery and i know there's the salomon rx break and um the ufos and there's a few different ones but anyway these ones were offered to me I snapped them up i'll let you know how i get on and we'll talk about data in just a sec i've had a quick look on strava and uh yeah the stats are a bit odd uh it shows some of my splits as 446 some at 602 because it's obviously taking into account the moving time so i don't really get it um I know what I did out there, but in terms of the data that it presents me at the end, I, I guess I haven't quite figured that out yet. Like I say, if anybody knows what I'm supposed to actually be doing to get the right data, that'd be really helpful. Um, because, yeah, in my head, what I'd like to see is just the kilometre splits. I didn't realise that the recovery part in between each of them was also being for like documented. It seems a bit strange. Uh, it may have been the way I set up on the watch, I'm not sure. I mean, or, because I can't even stand still. If I just stood still, I wouldn't be covering the distance, but it's still clocking the time, so that makes no difference either. Uh, I don't really know. Don't really know. Anyway, I gave it a go this evening. I did do 5K um, with a kilometre on recovering between, and I did do a warm-up and a cool-down and a little jog home. So 8 or 9K in total. It is what it is, but uh, not quite the data I was hoping to see. Uh, like I say, I look forward to any help with that. Okay, so I've just put the Strava kind of uh, info here, as you can see, kind of on the screen now. But then I've taken a quick screenshot of the workout analysis. Now, I don't pay for the summit feature, but you can see there what I was doing. And it does seem to show, if I'm correct, that I was around about the 430 range pretty consistently for those 5k uh, individual splits I did. So a kind of positive, but still a little bit unsure if I've set the watch up correctly. So looking forward to any feedback.